Hello everybody and welcome back to Nearly Not Quite Gaming. Uh, I'm Rob, we're playing Layers of Fear. Now we've gone from uh, my Flesh Flamingo Bros, and I do miss my Flesh Flamingo Bros. Um, then we went to Shrek's Bloody Swamp, and now we're at, um, I'm pretty sure I called him Steve. He looks like a Steve. Definitely looks like a Steve. So, um, still making paintings out of body parts by the look of it. And it's got the skin and the, the blood and the, the bones and then whatever's in these three as well. So, without further ado, we're going to go from uh, what if you fail through to whatever this episode is going to be called. And that is this scary corridor. But let's do it. Oh no. It's it's the monster. Also I learned you can zoom. Monsters monsters. Yeah. Let's just shut that door. I think that was just filled with a black inky blackness. So is that room. There we go. Oh, this is going to be something to do with my kid. I forgot that this character had a kid. Uh, maybe it's the kid? Ooh. Nah, the flesh looked older than that. Oh. Oh, apparently I'm a drunk. Selfish. Delirious. This must be things. Oh, Jesus. This must be things that my uh, wife said to me at some point. Oh, no, it's locked. Man, that's not locked. Oh, there's a house. And, uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Holy hell. Uh, I'm just going to leave now. There's a box here. Oh, come on. Seriously? Uh. Hello, teddy bear. Please do not eat me. Everywhere. This corridor is getting more and more out of place. Let's see if I can find any more little secrety secrets. Oh, I found another painting. Okay, there's one thing that you kind of learn is that I was a massive dick to my kids. Not me personally, I don't have any. Um, but the character definitely. Expect the unexpected. The Everyday Magic of Parenthood. The new book by Molly Pierce is a must read for parents who are expecting their first child and want to create a happy, healthy environment for their baby. Order now and receive a free set of motivational tapes. Strong Enough, Volume 1 and 2. Well. Ah, oh, sh sugar. That was a lot of rats. That's what I get for being curious. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Oh, come on. Don't crescendo me. Whispers. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Jesus! Did you just buy half of the department store? Honey, you don't even know yet if it's going to be a boy or a girl. Okay. Did 
Let's leave. Oh, goody. Eh. Dolls. I'm not good with dolls. Like, um, my sister used to collect them. Uh, my sister used to collect them, and um, when I was like four or five, aware and it, ooh, wherever it came out, to, um, she made me watch that Chucky film, and then pretty much immediately started collecting China dolls. Oh, well, no, I'm not going through that door. Oh, well, I have to, apparently. Oh, there's a heart here. It's actually thumping. Is there anything in any of these drawers? Oh, she'd stop crying. Oh, it's like the witch in... Oh, jeez. Left for dead. You know it's there. The th 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 thudding isn't helping either. Okay, it appears to be. Like... You beat me again. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why I even bother. Huh. Good thing we didn't bet on it. <laughs> what? What's so funny? That's crying, dear. Definitely crying. Ah, uh, come on, I don't want to go through there. Near the blueberry bush by the emerald creek, reek, creek, there once lived a duck who was a bit of a freak, not content to just splash away in the rivers. She liked tearing out hearts and chewing on livers. This. That's a reference to the. Basically, you can't get much work as an artist since the accident, and um, if you go back to the first episode, you can see that he was writing... <laughs> he was illustrating nursery rhyme books, but he was making them horribly twisted. I kind of want to go through that door, but I also really don't want to go through that door. What happens if I go through that door? You were a thing. I'm dead. Okay, is she gone now? Maybe I should have just gone through the other door. Turning around. You can't make me. Did I get through the doll bit already? I kind of hope I did. If I've still got the doll bit to come, jeez. That was from the alpha, though. I don't know whether it's still going to be in the game. Nope, got the doll bit to come. The 
so many little nooks and crannies that things could be hidden in. Oh, come on now. Of course there is. It's a doll. Of course it's a doll. I hate dolls. This is the doll bit. And the doll's gone. Oh, of course, the doll is gone. And there's more dolls. I actually used to um, own and run a toy shop. Yeah, I know. Um, and there was these dolls that they had a motion sensor, so they would start laughing. Um, and we had like maybe twenty of them all on a shelf. So every time anybody would walk past, you'd just hear all of those laughs, and it would be freaky. Remember one night there was this time that we were we were locking up and to lock up there it, it was absolutely horrible because the light was all the way on the other side of the of the shop so you had to go all the way to the back of the shop to turn the light off in the office to then come through walk all the way through the dark <laughs> the dark shop set the alarm and then try and get to the door quickly enough um, I know it's stupid it wasn't my idea but so one night um, around Halloween we turned all the lights off came out and just as we got to the door to unlock it to to leave one of them went off just one of them and we just ran so quickly like uh, sorry about that story time is this ever gonna end do I have to just turn around I think I just have to turn around don't I Yep, thought so. There's nowhere to go there. Oh god, I didn't notice the giant face. He wants me to go down here, doesn't it? The glowing red bits and the dolls everywhere. Ah! Oh, come on, creepy music as well. 
Oh, okay, that's the, uh, this is definitely the, uh, screen, the, the preview for this. Oh, come on. And there's a crying, probably, it's meant to be a child, I bet you it's a doll. Yeah, it's a doll. Of course it's a doll. certainly see colours. I'm back in this room. Of course I'm back in this room. I hope you guys can hear like a lot of background noise as I say I'm going during the day for a change. This looks um okay that looked like I could look at it. Oh jeez there's a lot of whispering here. That usually means there's something that I can it's just being creepy. Okay. God, I hope this section's over soon. Or at least there's no more dolls. Oh. I had the most beautiful dream last night. I dreamt he came to me, embraced me, loved me, as he once did. But... We both know that while I dreamed my silly little dream, it was you, it was you he really lusted for. I don't think that was, that was wife. Did I cheat on wife? Oh jeez, I'm not going through that door, screw that. Okay, that's locked, which means it's going to open behind me. That's what i just come to expect. Oh, that's got an arrow point. Okay. The arrows are of no consequence. Good to know. Again with creepy music. Like, ah. Uh, can I just have a break, please? A break from the creepy music? That'd be nice. Oh, jeez. I hope that the recording doesn't, like, die on me or anything, because I'm not doing this again. This is the creepy bit. I know about this bit. So this part's nearly over. At this point. Why did it have to be dolls? Oh, I've got the music key, which means that I'm gonna wind up this music box. It's gonna do something scary, and it's probably gonna be to do with dolls. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Somehow I get attached to it. Tag.
it's gonna be fine. Oh. Whew, it's too bad. Oh, I'm gonna sit around and give me some. Oh, what happened to the dog? Not the dog. Oh, for. This was a special brush. Like a horsehair brush, but different. At that I point, I hesitated. Will this really work? Fuck it. I was already halfway through, and besides, it's not like I can just put it all back and forget the whole thing. I'm pretty sure I'm using my child to paint a picture. And that dog's got a lot of eyes. It's always like Google painted this. Jeez. <laughs> Ugh, that's a giant. <laughs> Man, I hate dolls. Huh. Oh, great. Now there's dolls all over my study. Wasn't scary enough already. I really hope this is like a safe place like I think it is. I hate you even now. Lost, alone, hopeless, you've always been alone, you will always be hoping a grave error to finish it. Okay. This Of course there's dolls in there, isn't there? Of course there's dolls in there. Gone will be the title of this episode. But let's paint a little bit more. Bye Steve. Bye. Nope, still Steve. Hi, Steve. Hello. Hello. Right, so. That's it for this episode. Um, I'm probably going to go take a break because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a heart attack otherwise. Uh, <laughs> See you in the next episode. Bye.